and I will be teaching you how to do piecewise functions. Okay. On this problem, that says, on Josh's one hour trip to Conroe, he managed to hit very high speeds at moments, but at others was stuck in traffic almost at crawling speeds. The graph above shows his velocity in miles per hour in intervals of five, measured in minutes. Okay. So, first, what you're going to want to do is get another sheet of Okay. So, you look at the graph, and you look at the first line. It goes from zero, zero, so, zero, zero, and it stops at five, fifty. Five and fifty. From there, you're going to want to find the slope of this line, and you're going to go from 50 minus 0 over 5 minus 0, and you get 50 over 5, and you get 10, and that's the slope. So you want to find the rest of the equation, and you're going to make it equal to, well, you're going to want to find the y-intercept, but since it crosses 0, 0, that's the y-intercept, so the, and the first part of the equation is 10x. Okay. Then you move on to the next point. It's a constant at 50, so you're just going to write 50. That's your answer for that equation. We have 1, 2. You move on to the next part. You go from 20, 50, 20, 50 to 35, oh no, 30, 130. So you go 130 minus 50 over 30 minus 10, and this gets you 80, and this gets you 20, and you get um, <laughs> 4x. <laughs> right. Sorry. So then you're gonna oh, right, then you want to find the y-intercept of this equation. You go. You're gonna use one of these two points, whichever one is fine. Your equation remember is y is equal to m x plus b, m is, of course, your slope, so you're gonna, I'm going to use 20 and 50, so you use 50 is equal to 4 parentheses 20 plus b, so you have 50 is equal to 80 plus b minus 80 minus 80, and you get minus 30 is equal to b, so you equal to this. 4x minus 30. Okay, now you move on to the next point that's negative. So you're going to go from 30, 130, to 45, negative 20. 45, negative 20. Negative 20 minus 130 over. 45 minus 30, you get negative 150 over 15, and you get negative 10. And then you can find the y intercept again, use these points, 130 equal to negative 10, parentheses 30, plus b. Equation. 
so you go from point 55, 60 to 60, 0. 0 minus 60 over 60 minus 55, negative 60 over 5, and you get negative 12. And then you're going to go, see this point, 0 is equal to negative 12, bring to 60 plus v, 0 is equal to um, um, negative uh, 720, negative 720, yeah. 720 is equal to B, so plus 720, and that's your final equation. So, to write your piecewise function, you're going to want to write y and then you go first equation which is 10x you're going to find one of the variables so you see on this graph right here it goes the intervals you want to go from 0 you're going from 0 0 to 5 50 so it goes from 0 to 5 so you have you're going to write it like this 0 is greater than or equal or less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 5. And you move on to the next equation, which is 4x minus 30. And then this one is it goes from intervals from 5 to 20. So 5 is less than, not equal to, um, x, which is less than or equal to 20. And the reason that this is not less than or e is not equal to is because you already have equal to here. It can be equal to both. So then, you go to the next equation, and it is negative 10x plus 430. And you go from intervals from 20 to 30. Correct, 20 to 30. So 20 less than, less than x, which is less than or equal to 30. Um, okay. Then move to this equation, right. which is. Um, that's wrong. And this is not. This is 50. And this is 4x. Okay. Okay, then you move on to negative 10x. Plus 430. And you get 30 less than x, which is less than or equal to 45. And then you move on to your final equation, which is minus 12x plus 720. Oh no, this equation. And that one goes from 45 less than x, which is less than or equal to 55. And then your final equation, which is finally 12x plus 720. And this goes from intervals of 55, which is less than x, to less than or equal to 60. And that's your piecewise function.